At this point, a round of betting takes place, which is called before the flop or pre-flop. In the pre-flop betting round, the player immediately to the left of the big blind, in this case Adam, has only three choices. Because blind bets have already been made by the players in the first and second positions, Shirley and Jeff, Adam can fold. If the first player folds, he is out of the hand permanently and cannot participate again until the next deal of the cards. Or call. By matching the size of the big blind by putting $2 in the pot or raise. The raise is the amount of the big blind, in this case $2. In the game we're illustrating, the blinds are $1 and $2. So if Adam raises, he places $4 in the pot, matching the $2 blind and raising it $2. Okay, now assume the first player, Adam, does indeed raise to $4. Alan folds. Now the action comes to Barry, who calls $4. Now the action is round to the dealer button. That's me. I decide to call $4 as well. The player in the small blind, Shirley, must now decide whether she's going to call $3 more or raise to $6. Remember, Shirley already had $1 in the pot, being the small blind. If she calls the $3, the big blind, Jeff, must now decide whether he's going to call the $2, fold, or raise to $6. Remember, he already had $2 in the pot, 